All right, I'm gonna come right out of the gate and say it. Not only is 75 hard worth it, but it was the ultimate best commitment that I've ever made to myself in my entire life. If the program is followed correctly, it essentially forces you to become more confident, more fit, better health. You walk different, talk different, look different. You're more schedule oriented. You have more drive, more purpose, and more ambition. If you wanna change your life for the better, in exchange for two and a half months of hard work, it is without a doubt in my mind, 100% worth it. So what is 75 hard? 75 hard is a program created by Andy Frisella. It is not a fitness challenge. A lot of people think 75 hard, oh, you're just going to the gym 75 days in a row. No, it is a mental toughness challenge. Becoming physically fit is one of the benefits of doing this challenge, but honestly, the mental aspects of it outweigh the physical aspects of it. During the 75 day program, you must complete all of these daily tasks. You must complete one indoor workout every day, one outdoor workout every day, you must take a progress picture every day. You must read at least 10 pages of a book every day. You must follow a diet and you must not consume any alcohol whatsoever. During this program, you must complete these tasks every single day. If you miss out on one of these tasks, then you have to start back over again from day one. And once you get into it, trust me, you don't wanna start over again on day one. So the more you go, the more ambitious you are at, of finishing the program. So I'll tell you some lessons that I learned throughout the way. Um, first lesson is, is that this program is hard. It is not called 75 easy, it is hard. There's gonna be days where you don't want to wake up and go to the gym. You don't wanna get outside and do, do your walk or outdoor exercise in the rain and cold. It's gonna be days where you don't wanna be chugging water all day long and carrying a, a water bottle with you everywhere that you go. Uh, but all of these things get easier over time. That's one thing that I learned. You start to get yourself into a schedule and you, you start to make a habit out of these things. Another important lesson I learned is that you don't always have to drink to have fun. Um, I used to be a really big social drinker, uh, drinking beers at lunch, drinking a beer after the work day, whatever. Um, and my life continued on and got significantly better whenever I cut that out. And I thought that was gonna be one of the hardest things for me to overcome was the, the drinking part of it. And actually, once I started getting into it, I realized that it was one of the, the easier things to overcome because it actually feels good to not have alcohol in your body all the time. Another important lesson that I learned throughout this was setting good routines for myself. You can easily get yourself trapped into a good routine and you can also get yourself trapped into a bad routine. Uh, before 75 hard, I used to wake up, I used to search through Twitter for 30 minutes, I used to get on YouTube for 30 minutes, and before I knew it, my whole morning was wasted, before I even got to answering emails and whatnot. Now, I wake up, first thing I do is go to the gym, I come back, answer emails, and then if I have a little bit of downtime before I have to go to my next job, whatever, I'll, I'll check Twitter then at that point. But getting myself in a routine filled with good habits has exponentially made my life better versus whenever I was in a routine filled with bad habits. Another lesson I learned throughout this is that nobody is going to help you and that kind of applies to everything in life. This is a decision that you must make for yourself and you must stay committed to it. If anything, a lot of people are gonna to try to bring you down, not, not intentionally, but they're gonna to try to persuade you to come out and drink or, oh, just skip your workout for the day. You, you were already out and about doing this and that. And there's always gonna be people that try to get you off track. And this program forces you to stay on track. And I think that that can apply to several other things in business and life and whatever you, you may take those principles and apply it to. If I were to give some tips on how to get through 75 hard, I would say, first of all, make sure that you're using the 75 hard app. Uh, every single day, you must check off all the tasks on there. And if you don't check off the tasks, it'll start you over at day one. Uh, so that's one way to hold yourself accountable. Another tip I have would be to get a half gallon water jug. This made it easy for me to get my gallon of water in a day. I just filled it up twice and make sure that I drank it twice. Another thing that helped me with that was that my water bottle has a straw on it. I can drink water faster through a straw, so I was able to put down my water quicker uh, whenever I needed to. 
Another tip that I have this applies to the outdoor workouts. Uh, try to find a hobby that makes it easy for you to get outside. Mine, one of my hobbies is, is golfing. So, you know, going and playing 18 holes, I'm still getting my uh, outdoor workout in. I'm getting my steps, I'm getting my exposure to the sun, the earth, the, the elements. You know, find, find a hobby that makes it easy for you to get outside, whether that's walking the dog, playing golf, throwing frisbee, uh, whatever that is, as long as you're getting outside and getting your steps in, that is the point of this part of the program. So find something that makes it enjoyable for, for you to get outside. So to recap, is 75 hard worth it? The answer is yes, 75 hard has made every aspect of my life better. Every single one of them, my relationships, my health, my fitness, my drive, my business, everything in my life has gotten better since I started the 75 hard program. The best part about doing this program is that there is a ripple effect to it. I had friends that cut back on their drinking habits. I had friends that did part of the program with me. I had friends that ended up going to the gym with me. So when, when people see you putting in the work and trying to become a better self, then they automatically think, well, maybe I should be doing that myself. Maybe I should be doing better for myself. And that is the best part about 75 hard is that if you could do something to make yourself better and then inspire others to be better, then you're only encouraging a better world, essentially. After going through this program, you feel like you have the mental toughness to take on anything, anything that comes in your way. Andy Frisella said it best, personal excellence is the ultimate rebellion. Whenever you're working on yourself and you're being the best version of yourself every single day and working towards personal excellence, there is not much that can bring you down. So if this is something that you've been working towards achieving in your life, more confidence, more ambition, better health, better looking, bigger bank account, then I would highly, highly recommend diving in, doing the program. It's not something that you try. It is a lifestyle. It is something that you commit to and that you do. It gets easier over time. First couple of weeks for me were super difficult. Once I got myself into a habit, my body started getting used to it. Everything became easier and life became better. Let's go. Long way from trapping up at the apartment. I hit the stay with the racks in my garden. My car the whole lemon, they always a stone. They figure me out, they all making the song. I lied to the hope I tell her a problem. So don't tell your feelings, I did it or done it. How you